What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about terminals. And uh, have you ever gone to the auto parts store and you're looking for a terminal to maybe like build a battery cable or something like that, or you just need terminals. Uh, and what I mean by terminals are these little copper connectors that'll connect to a uh, wire and then from there it'll mount to the chassis. And uh, if you've ever gone to like any hardware store or any, you know, like a auto parts store, you'll see uh, like a pack of two for maybe like six or seven dollars. And you're just like, wow, that's that's a lot for some terminals. Uh, but there is a solution uh, and I'm going to show you how to make your own terminals. So, um, for example, like you'll have some terminals like these and like these and they're just like outrageously expensive and uh, you know, but I, I think it's kind of cool to at least have a few of these because you can use them as like Monopoly game pieces, you know, instead of like the ones Monopoly gives you, you can just use a terminal and just kind of like carry it with you and just like, yeah, give me my $200 because I just passed a go. Bam. All right. So here's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a copper uh, rod, I guess you could say, um, tubing, actually, I'm sorry, copper tubing that you can get at any hardware store and a length like this and a size like this goes for about five dollars maybe six at the most and um, we can make I would say for sure ten pieces out of this and that's gonna be way better than you know like um, ordering um, just like two or buying two because you know once you know how to make these then you know you can always make them custom to fit. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure about an inch and a half on our copper tubing there, and then uh, we'll just stick it through our pipe cutter or whatever you use to cut the tubing. Uh, it's you know not really that important as long as it's cut. So um, once we have it cut, then uh, we're gonna inspect it. And uh, if you use a uh, tube cutter like the one that I use then you'll notice that it'll roll the edge in like that so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take like a filer or something uh, to open that back up so that it's uh, the same size on both ends and, uh, you can use a filer or a step drill uh, the copper is pretty soft so you know you can use it by hand afterwards you can go ahead and clean it up make sure it looks nice uh, get rid of all those little flakes and metal shavings and whatnot and then um, from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hammer and we're gonna flatten one side so about like uh, half of the tube and we're just gonna flatten it out and uh, so it should look like that you want to make sure that you get that edge uh, as tight as possible um, this will help her later but yeah make sure you get that edge as tight tight as possible and then uh, next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, use a punch and uh, Put a little dimple right there in the middle and uh, what this dimple is going to do for us is it's just going to help keep our drill bit in place when we drill out our hole and um, as you can see there there's the dimple and uh, you know just make sure it's in the center that's the most important thing and you can drill out the hole to any size so uh, this is going to be totally up to you depending on your application but um, after that uh, go ahead and clean that hole up and uh, then get ready we'll get ready for the the next step so as you can see there it looks really nice uh, you can use sandpaper along with alcohol to just kind of clean everything up um, you want to get the copper as clean as possible um, on the surface and then afterwards we're going to use some flux and we're going to flux we're going to put a coating of flux over the whole terminal um, and then you also want to flux the inside as well. So make sure you get some flux on the inside of that terminal. Uh, that'll that'll help. That'll help for later on in the process. Okay, so now we have our solder. It's nice and hot. And uh, if you need to add more solder, um, go ahead. I I recommend um, eutectic solder, which is 6337. Um, so that's 63% lead, 37% tin, and uh, just go ahead and melt it into your solder pot there. And uh, once it's all melted in, then uh, what we'll do 
is um, we'll just start to scrape off that top layer and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, put that in some kind of uh, lead storage container. I use I use a tin tin can. And then after that, now we can go ahead and drop our terminal into the lead, or should I say solder, um, and you know just kind of run it through. Make sure you uh, submerge it 100% uh, into the solder pot, and um, you know just just uh, really really get it. Um, really let it sit in there for a little bit so that the solder adheres to the terminal and um, once once you know you feel comfortable with um, however long you have it in there then uh, go ahead and uh, take it out and uh, I like to use a piece of wood to sit it on um, but you know make sure that it dries give it a few seconds to dry and then after that you can sit it on the wood and uh, as you can see, uh, it's nice and shiny. It's, you know, ooh, it looks it looks good. So um, there you go. And those imperfections, um, that's normal unless you like really kind of polish the copper there. So uh, don't worry about that. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it that thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. And uh, until next time, see you guys later. So many terminals.